to my channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. If not, welcome back. Um, today, I am going to show you guys how to do those pretty decorated pens. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do glitter or if I'm going to try to do like a galaxy thing. We'll see. We'll see where it goes. So first you want to remove your tip and all the stuff inside. Just a Make sure. And then, got this thing that's gonna be an issue. So I have these, uh, pliers whatever tool this is sorry I'm not I'm not a tool person you're just gonna you are going to snap this thing off maybe if I can get in there guys okay there we go and twist it and of course you'll have a little bit of a edge so I'm going to take my sandpaper and sand the whole thing you want to sand the whole thing let me see if I can use my exact donut a little bit better. Yeah. So I'm using my X-Acto knife to get off that little edge. So it's a little bit more smooth. Now you're going to stand up this whole pen, rough it up. Right, now that we are smooth, I'm gonna go wash this down to get all the debris off. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so now that this is wiped down, what I'm going to do is put it on a dowel. This is about the size of a pencil. You don't want it any thicker than a pencil. This is just one I had laying around. What I'm going to do now is use my Midnight Blue Flippin' Awesome paint. And I'm gonna brush that on. You only need one layer of it to get good coverage because it's already a dark pen, it's already black. So it covers up really well within one layer. So I show this nice dark blue color. Like that. Now I'm gonna let this dry and I'll see you guys back for the next step. Alrighty guys, so I'm back. I heard you baby. Um, I put just a little bit with my spatula of a color and some bright tone, some mica powder and some bright tone. And I'm just stirring it. Really well. Get it nice and mixed up. I'm gonna do a nice 
Primex color. So I'm doing a pink, I'm doing purple and green. And a little bit goes a long way. You don't really need a lot. So I got my uh, stick. I'm going to dab a little. And just dab it on. What's the matter, baby? Girl. I'm just dabbing it randomly on here. So what we are going to want is like a... Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, I did mix up some blue. I, I cleaned this off because... Uh, well, you guys missed half of it, all of it anyways. So now I'm just going to go back and do what I already had done. But this time adding some blue in there too. Now, I'm just dabbing off what's on my brush onto some paper towel. The pink doesn't seem to be showing up very well. So I might add a little bit more. Okay, if that helps. I don't know why a little bit. Oh, from the car. This brush tastes gross in my mouth. I'm gonna mix this up. And get it. Okay, so this will be more vibrant than it was. So let us check. Okay, yes, that is much better. in them that action see purple is is doing the same thing as the pink so let me try the what they just did the pink and I'm gonna do the same with green and blue might as well get them all done guys this stuff is messy Holy crap Especially blue. I really want my blue to be right there. My fingers are all colored. Okay. Let's mix these up. Get these vibrant colors. I know I said less is more, but apparently more is more. Apparently more is more when you're doing this. Mix up my blue. And I only have a tiny bit. Like I have a little, very little um bright tone in here. Okay. Let's dab some purple on. I'm just dabbing it on. Boop, boop, boop. Dab it on the sponge. Get some green action in here. And some 
Ooh, vibrant blue. Just go around. It's starting to look like that. I really want blues because more like, you know, the night sky. Make sure you get the... Is this the bottom of the pen? I think it is. Some green. This is coming out so pretty. Let me see if I can add a little peek. Alright, so there we go. It looks starting to yeah. look like a galaxy, so I'm going to let it dry. Daddy. And I'll see you guys back once it's dried. See you soon. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, what I'm going to do, I have a brush, a stiff brush, and I'm going to get some white, um, pure white, flip an awesome paint, and I'm just going to kind of Flick it on, like so. Now I just have it inside of my, uh, my, oh, sorry, I'm blinking on what it's called, my, my tumbler thingy. You know what I'm talking about. I'm just fling in some paint. You could also use an acrylic paint if that's what you have on hand. If you don't have any of this on hand. And 
we should have. Sorry about my kids, they're uh, not getting along right now. All right, so I think that's good. I'm gonna put this in some water. Um, let me give you guys a close up of what it looks like now. Uh, where's the camera? There we go. Maybe. Oh no, don't hit it. I'm trying to find, oh, there it is. So it should look something like that. And then I'm gonna put it back upright. And I will see you guys back later for the next step. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some bright tone. Just a little bit. Really don't need a whole lot. Couple drops. Alright, now I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter on, not a lot, I don't really want the big chunks, I'm going to try and peel those off, I kind of just want the little, the smaller bits. And this is Girl's Best Friend. I'll put like what, a couple. So then we got a little bit of a sparkle to it for stars. So I'm going to let that dry for four hours and then I'll add more bright tone and just build up my bright tones. I'll see you guys later. Alrighty guys, I'm back and adding some bright tone. Remember you just need a little bit. Let me stick that in my cup 
to dry and I'll see you guys back later for another layer. Alrighty guys, I'm back and putting another layer of gray tone. Okay, I think we're good. Okay guys, I'm back and adding another layer of bright tone. Remember, keep your layers thin. You should need no more than a few drops. Okay. Hello, I'm back and adding another layer of Fright Tone. After this one dries, I'm going to give it a nice light sanding. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. Alright guys, it's time to do a light level sanding. You know what, I'm just going to take this off. You don't need much pressure at all. That's it. I'm going to wipe it down and I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, I am back and adding my bright tone. See you guys back when I'm done. I'm just when I'm ready for the next layer. Just make sure it's lightly coated. I'll see you guys soon. Alright guys, I'm back with another layer of bright tone.
Alrighty guys, time to add another layer of bright tone. Remember you don't need much for these. It takes a couple little drops. I'll see you guys back for the next layer. Alright guys, we're adding another layer. Alrighty, I'll see you guys in a little while. Alrighty guys, I'm doing another layer of Bright Tone. This will be after this, I'll give it one more sand and then one last layer and we'll be done. See you guys soon. Yeah, hi guys, I'm back and I'm gonna do a light sanding. Don't mind me tossing it. Alright, I'm gonna go wipe it down and I'll be back. Alright, I'm back and I'm going to apply my final layer of bright tone. Remember, you don't need much. Alright, that's it. I'll see you guys. I'll show you the finished product once it's dry. See ya!